Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Pull Out Your PPs and Show Them to Me. This week we are going to look at Oaklawn's Saturday card, specifically the three big races they're running on Saturday. The, uh, the two divisions of the Arkansas Derby as well as the Oaklawn Handicap wedged right there in the middle of the two Arkansas Derbies. And let's get right to it. We'll start with Race 11, Division 1 of the Arkansas Derby. And I think everyone pretty much agrees this race goes through number one, Charlatan. If you saw the video I made earlier this week, um, you, sa you, you saw me say that you know, maybe there was a chance he would have to go too fast early because he looked to get hooked by Shooter Shoot, the six, who uh, has been scratched and will not be running, which means that Charlatan is going to get things, I mean, seemingly all to himself on the front end. If you watch Friday's racing at Oakland, you know the track was pretty kind to speed down on the inside. That's exactly what Charlatan's going to be. I mean, anything can happen. He, he looks to be a prohibitive favorite. He's even money on the morning line. You've got to think he's going to go off well under even money. Uh, I'm not going to talk anybody out of, uh, you know, keying him in first place, um, in a first position in your, in your exotics, maybe singling him in your multi-race bets. Um, a couple horses I'm going to try to find a way to use in here, uh, starting with number three, Momosa. We talked about him in the last video we made. If you go back and watch the replay, specifically the gallop out of that race on April 11th, I mean, he really closed very well after the wire. Galloped out strong. Granted, the top two in there, the aforementioned Shooter Shoop and Blackberry Wine, they went pretty quick early and were getting tired at the end. So Momosa really just passed two horses. But he did it impressively. Uh, I mentioned that I, I picked this horse in the Tampa Bay Derby. That was a big mistake, and I looked very foolish. But I just think this horse has more ability than he's shown. Uh, I don't know that he's going to get the chance to show it in here on Saturday, but he's a horse that I'm going to try to use. I'm just going to kind of notate that here. Um, I think Governor Morris is going to run his race. Shooter, shooter, scratch. Wrecking Crew also scratched. And Odor, I, I have to think that that effort in the Risen Star was just not, not a good representation of his true ability. So I think he's going to run a much improved race. The one I'm most excited about is Basin. I, I've watched the replays of his two last races a number of times. And I got to tell you, he just has had so much trouble. He's had traffic trouble. He's caught sloppy racetracks. I know he won over a sloppy track in the hopeful. So you know, I'm not suggesting he hates the slop, but I just don't think we've had a chance to see his best effort yet. And I don't know that we've had a chance to see how well he has really progressed from age two to age three. So I think Basin is another horse I want to try to get in there. I just don't know how to play them in this race. I think, I think the thing to do is... Um, you know, try to use these three horses that I've mentioned, Basin, Anodor, and Momosa. You know, I wouldn't even talk anybody out of using Governor Morris. Governor Morris is solid, but it, they're all they're all going to be chasing this guy, Charlatan. So if you want to, I don't know, if you want to maybe try to key Charlatan in first and second over and under the three, the eight, and the 11, or maybe box all four of them, uh, you know, maybe you, you put Charlatan first in the trifecta, and use those other three, um, you know, in second and third. I don't know. That, that's how I see the race going. Um, you know, I'll be rooting against Charlatan, but I think he's very, very clearly uh, the most likely winner in here. Let's move on to race 12 at Oaklawn on Saturday. The Oaklawn handicap, grade two at a mile and an eighth. Uh, some discussion on racing Twitter this, re uh, this week as to who is going to be favored in here. The morning line favorite is uh, Combatant, the um, the recent John Sadler Ronos Racing acquisition. He's making his third start for that team. Rosario back aboard after the win in the grade one. Santa needed a handicap. He's the morning line favorite. Uh, I think he's going to be the favorite in the race, and I'll be honest, I like him. I don't often play favorites. That's that's not the way to, uh, to catch big tickets. But I think he's going to run a very big race. I think this new team, they, they figured out this horse. Take nothing away from Steve Asperson, who trained him for the first, what, 22 races of his career, I guess. But it seems that Combatant is a new race horse, and I bet you he runs a very, very big race. I think the race shapes up well for him because I think they're going to go pretty quick early in here. And I looked around and tried to find someone else that I thought um, you know, might be able to, to come flying late and pick up the pieces. And there are others in here that will be closing for sure. Captivating Moon under Leperu will be closing. But I think for me, uh, Combatant is the uh, is the play in here. 
Mr. Freeze, some people I really respect, think he's just going to go to the front and try to steal it. And that could happen. My take on Mr. Freeze, as you look back through his past performances, is I just wonder if he's if the one-turn mile game is really his best thing. I'm not saying he can't win at two turns or even a mile and an eighth. Um, you know, he's run five times the distance of his career. He's got to win two seconds and a third. He, the horse is good. But um, I just don't know that, I, that the race sets up perfectly for him in here. Trophy chaser, chess chief. I mean, I, I'm going to be uncombatant in race, that's number seven, in race 12, the Oakland Handicap, which takes us to the second division of the Arkansas Derby, race 13 at Oakland. Uh, Nadal will be your favorite in here as Baffert tries to win both both divisions of the Arkansas Derby with Nadal, who will be who will be favored. Um, the horse that I liked in here was number eight, Fast Enough. Uh, he is scratched, uh, won't won't be in the field. I was really excited about playing him. In fact, he was in probably my, my biggest play of the weekend. Um, I, I, after watching replays, I landed on Tyshawn in here, and the reason for that um, is his last race, the the Oakland Stakes, won by Mister Big News, where Farmington Road also in here ran second. Those two. Uh, we're way back early. The race kind of collapsed, and Tyshawn didn't really collapse with it. I mean, he was sort of up there, closer to the front uh, in the early going. Even took the lead in the stretch, and ran on very, very well. Even though he got run down late by those two stone cold closers, um, he also made this regress slightly off of that big effort in the allowance win, um, the the start prior. So I think Tyshawn can sit. Close enough to the pace in here on Saturday to you know avoid getting uh, avoid getting cooked, um, but at the same time I think he's got enough of a closing kick to where he can he can fire. I mean Wells Bayou, he's gonna have to gun it from the outside. Farmington Road again. I know some folks who really like his chances and he's a very good horse. He's gonna run his race for sure. Fast enough is scratched. Silver Prospector another here who I think is gonna run a big race. He's got kind of a a good race, bad race pattern going, and this would shape up as the good race in that pattern. I definitely think he is a win candidate for sure. Uh, Code runner, probably lesser likely. Nadal, the clear favorite. King Guillermo is going to be very exciting to watch off that Tampa Bay Derby win. I really want to see what he does. Storm the Court is another one who's going to be up close early. So that's kind of a theme here. Saratoga and, Saratoga and the Scratch and Finnick the Fierce will be from off the pace. But a, a number of these horses in here really should show some early speed. And I, I think uh, Tyshawn is going to be one of them, but I just don't think he's quite as fast as maybe four or five others in here. So he's going to get a good trip. Uh, disappointed to see Rosario. I mean, of course, Rosario is going to take them out on Nadal over Tyshawn. So he, he lose, Tyshawn loses the rider, but I still think has a, a really good chance to fire a big shot and maybe kind of get first run on those horses that are setting the pace. And you know, it may be up to the closers to catch Tyshawn. I can see Tyshawn kind of taking the lead here with about a quarter of a mile to go, and let's just see, see if anybody can catch him. Uh, that's how I see it, folks. Uh, three races tomorrow. They're all going to be on, I, th- I believe it's N- uh, NBCSN starting, I don't know, whenever the Kentucky Derby virtual derby coverage ends on NBC, switch over to NBCSN, and uh, we'll try to hit this pick three. Good luck and enjoy the day.